Hey, what's up, guys? It's Jakey K Tag, and today we're back again with this filthy four spell cycle deck. This deck is essentially Expo Rocket Cycle, but instead of Expo, you've got Poison, and you typically don't even use your Expo in that deck anyway. You just spell cycle your opponents out from full tower health, so might as well just add another spell, and the deck will be better anyway. So let's go jump straight into some games and assert some dominance with this unstoppable Rocket Cycle deck. And a huge shout out to all of you guys that are using Critic Code SirTag in any Supercell game. All money made from Critic Code SirTag goes directly back into improving the channel's setup, editing, and it allows me to upload daily videos while I take full-time college courses. So thank you guys for supporting me and helping me grow the channel. All right, guys, we got a game against the Crown Lord. Little does he know, he's going to lose his crown, he's going to be toppled over by the rocket, and he won't be able to recover, guys. Unfortunately, we can't three crowd him, but we will take one crowd and he won't be able to do very much damage to us at all with our impenetrable defenses of the Ice Wizard Tornado Tesla and plethora of four spells. So I can go for the poison to get some chip damage on the tower. I wonder if he's going to drop anything in the back. You know what, dude? I'm going to rocket the Electro Dragon. I'd much rather do that. Get that out of sight, out of mind, and then you have no air answer to our Ice Wizard. Nothing to damage us down from the skies. So you're still going to have to deal with that. Oh my gosh, he's going to give us poison value as well, most likely, with the Barbarians. Oh man. Do I want to do that, or would I rather just go and set up my Tesla for a nice defense against Elixir Golem? Defense! Defense! I think it's better to just set up the defense against Elixir Golem that is inevitably going to come crashing down on us right now. So we go for the Ice Wizard on top of the Baby Dragon. We can go for a Knight here, so then the Baby Dragon and the Healer and the Heal Spirit all rock onto that. So our Tesla stays alive. And dude, you are playing so aggressive. You are a feisty, ferocious fellow. I don't think I even want to do anything here. The Ice Wizard is going to be able to clean up. I don't need a Tornado. Why would I do that if I don't need to? You're probably going to go for a Hut, so we can just go Poison, get some early chip damage again. And he is starting to realize that we don't have an Expo deck. We got Rocket, Poison, and we are dropping anything else the entire game. You filthy Elixir Golem spammer. You are subjected to the most punishment that anyone has ever endured in Clash Royale. Rocket Poison Cycle. The most horrible thing. <laughs> it's a fitting punishment for someone writing the most horrible deck, right? You deserve everything you're getting. Good luck on survival, sir. So we can go in for a knight here, and then we can go in for another Tesla. Yo, if we're able to kill the baby dragon first with the Tesla, then I won't even have to worry about rocketing. Let's go, guys! So usually you have to rocket, but not in this situation at all. We can just finish off the baby dragon. We can log all this stuff back, make sure that we hit the blobs, make sure that we hit the healer. And then we can get away with skeletons, so then we just go and pull it all, too. So this is going so well, man. He's going to give us another rocket. No way. He doesn't understand how to play. No way. Let's go, baby. So we want to go for a poison here. We want to hit the Electro Dragon. Unfortunately, I'm not able to hit the tower as well. Go and tornado everything back. Make sure the Electro Dragon stays inside the poison. He's not able to walk away. And... You know what, dude? You're trying to keep it alive, so I, I commend you, but I can just go in for a Ice Wizard here, finish off the Electro Dragon, and then we're not going to lose the game. So you know what, dude? We just need to keep defending. Keep on keeping on, and we will walk with a very clean W with a log here on top of the blobs. Finish those off. Make sure that the Knight gets away from our tower, because we don't want that Electro Dragon hitting it. Thank you, sir, Electro Dragon. You're so nice. You just waited your turn in line to not hit our tower. You're making me blush. <laughs> I was a little bit worried there. It's like, wait, if he just starts latching on, that could be scary. But we're chilling. We're going to go pull the Electro and the Elixir Golem and all of his spam yet again. We need to log the Heal Spirit whenever we can, but unfortunately it didn't work out there. Just go and cycle another Ice Wizard, pull everything to the center. He's going to pull our Ice Wizards, but it's A-OK, -okay, guys. I think we want to go for a Knight just to make sure we don't leak Elixir. And then we can start to rocket cycle. Because, guys, the baby dragon's going to fall. It's going to lock onto the knight. And we can just start to rocket poison, rocket log, win the game. GG, well played. The spell cycle was inevitable. You couldn't stop it. It's unfathomable. It's unthinkable. And it's quite honestly unbeatable if we play correctly against a filthy Elixir Golem player. So, GG, well played. And peace out. Was not very close in the slightest. And <laughs> you know what? It's crazy that we were able to cycle back to two rockets that quickly. If you think about it, his tower is around 1,000 HP, and we took it out just like that. All right, guys, we got a game against Jonathan. We're going to roll right through with the log and see what this guy's got in store for us. Ooh, he's got a wizard. Easiest rocket value of my life. Thank you, sir. I am ecstatic whenever I see that. He's like, wow, can't believe you would rocket me like that, Jake. Well, I'm sorry, Jonathan. We have to do you dirty. I thought we were friends. <laughs> what else are you going to have? You're going to have Inferno Dragon and Wizard. When we see Inferno Dragon Wizard, I'm expecting probably like a Mega Knight deck. 
or something along those lines. Wizard is actually not a bad card in some situations, but when you got Mega Knight, we can shut it down with the Knight, then we can go for Skeletons on the Inferno Dragon, so everything is going to be separated, and you're not going to get very much value. You'll love to see it, guys. Dropping our Knight as far away from the Inferno Dragon as possible gives us optimal value, and then, because we dropped the Skeletons to isolate the Inferno Dragon, it wasn't able to lock on to the one HP thing that it wanted to kill. The Knight would have just died immediately. Oh, we can go for a Tesla and go pull the Balloon directly to the King Tower. I don't even think it gets a hit. So we'll see if it gets a hit, but I don't think so. Maybe the Rage messes it up. Let's go! What the heck? There could not be a better start than that. And usually, they try to bait out the rocket with the wizard behind the King Tower, I think. I think that's what his game plan was, right? Has to be. That defense was pristine. It's the cleanest thing we've ever seen. Let's go, baby. We can go for another Ice Lizard on the right. And I think we can probably go in for a log as well. Oh, you know what? You got Valkyrie. You've got Mega Knight and Valkyrie. I don't understand what your fetish is for all these splash damage cards. It's who I am. But you know what, dude? I'm vibing with it. It's definitely a vibe. Okay. I think we got to go in for a Tesla here. So we go and snipe the wizard. It needs to hit the wizard first. Yes. Yo, every interaction is going our way today. We're playing out of our mind with this spell cycle. Sniping everything left, right, and center. I'm going to be able to get a log down. So then we hit the tower and the spear goblins and the ice wizard. Reign supreme still. No tower damage on us. There's going to be that one guy in the comment section that's like, well, actually, technically, Jake, if you look at the King Tower, <laughs> there's always that one guy. We're going to go in for the uh, Tesla in the middle, and we'll see what he does. All right, cool. So I can just go for a Knight in the left, cycle that early on, so we get back to another one for the Mega Knight. And if we protect our Tesla, you're not going to be able to get any value here at all. Ooh, I can log and get some more chip. Because it's double elixir, I can cycle the two Teslas, so I'm very stoked for that. And remember what I said, cycle your Knight early so you get back to it. And then we say Night Knight to his balloon. Say night night to his Mega Knight and sayonara to everything else. So yeah, that is going to be hilarious. He might actually get a little bit of chip damage with the balloon death damage, but ultimately that's all you get, dude. I'm sorry we weren't able to protect our sacred shrine. It was defiled. It was blemished. And you know what? I should never be forgiven for that, but it's still fine. We could go for another Tesla here. Get away with a proper defense. Even if he Mega Knights, we just go for a knight. And you know what, dude? You're going to try to go for Inferno Dragon. You're going to try to continuously spam me like a savage, but I don't care, dude. I have Tornado, and I know that you're not going to be able to get any damage here because I can just Tesla right on top of your, your balloon. Inferno Dragon's not going to break through. We can log the Goblin Gang at every single situation. We rock it once. We rock it twice. And, dude, the game will eventually be over. This man's about to look left, and he's going to look right, and there will be no tower left in sight. <laughs> I'm a poet and didn't even know I was rhyming those words. I feel like Dr. Seuss. I just missed my poison because I just tried to rhyme too hard, guys. When you rhyme too hard, this is what happens. These are the consequences that you must endure. But it's all worth it, guys. For the rhymes, for the memes, for the dreams, we had to miss the poison. And it looks like we did some BM there, but it really wasn't BM, guys. I just laughed too hard. Oh, man. GG, well played, and peace out, brother. All right, we got a game here. We're going to see what's up. We're going to see what's good. We're going to go in for a log, and this guy's going to have Goblin Gang. So when I see Goblin Gang, I'm expecting it to be a log bait deck, but I don't know yet. Got to figure it out. Okay, you're going to go in for the Skeleton Barrel. So we want to go and activate King Tower here with that Skeleton Barrel. You're going to clone and mess it up. No! Well, we do activate King Tower, but that's a lot of damage. Ouch! I can't believe he cloned to mess it up on us. Why do you have to have a big brain, sir? I just thought you were bad at the game. That is such an easy King Tower activation, taking no damage at all and forcing out so much pain and suffering for your opponent. But you know what, dude? You played that really well. You deserve the damage. And now we're in a dilapidated state on our tower in the right-hand side. But if it's going to be against Golem Clone, I think we can bounce back. So please, sir, have Golem Clone so we can wreck you. I need to go for a Knight in the back, and I need to start going in the same lane as him because he most likely is going to go in for... Like, let's just say a really easy Night Witch plus Golem push every single time and clone it. We have to let that connect, and then we can go in for our Tornado here. Oh, easy poison value because it's going to stay inside. The Flying Machine is not going to walk outside. It's not going to endeavor out into the wilderness. It's just going to stay in the comfort of the poison while the Knight gets some chip on the tower. Let's go, baby. So that's really awesome for us because I don't think he has a big spell. He needs to get one more Parade push on us to take the tower. So he's going right head over heels with this Golem. And you know what? She's not going to find her true love. She's going to get cordially greeted by a knight, an ice wizard, 
and a tornado. So here we go. I'm going to finish off all those bats real quick. Make sure that even if he closed... Oh my gosh, so we messed up his, his clone because we pushed the Night Witch away from where he was about to clone. And then he wasn't able to get the value that he traditionally would. That is so meme -y. So he screwed us over with this clone. And this time, we screwed over the clone with our tornado. It's fitting, guys. That's how it's meant to be. You already know, fam. Amazing Tesla value because we chip away on top of the flying machine. And then we also get the connection right on top of the Tesla instead of our tower. So I'm, a, I'm vibing with this. It's definitely a vibe. I could go tornado that back, but I'm not about that life. I'd rather just get the rocket chip damage. Get the easy chip that I can guarantee. And then go in for another Ice Wizard on defense because the bats are just going to go head over heels into the Ice Wizard. They're going to meet their match. Oh, I can go in for a Tesla here. Finish off the Fly Machine. Go in for a Poison. And as long as we're going to be able to go and kill that inside, we are chilling, man. All right, you're going to go in for more spam. But as long as the Skeleton Barrel pops, then we go in for a Tornado. And we don't take anything, so... Doesn't matter. It looked a little bit scary. I know you guys are looking at it. You're like, Jake, are you okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. And trust me, guys, we are, we are more than fine. We're going to Tesla right on top. We should be able to cycle back to another Tesla if he wants to spam us at the river. Yo, okay. I mean, you didn't go for a golem, so that's not even that scary. As long as the Ice Wizard takes the priority. The Ice Wizard did not take the priority. I don't know how that happened, but Mr. Ice Wizard, he did not want to give us the value. So you know what? The comeback is going to be real. We're going to be able to get a poison and a spicy log off here. I'm also going to go for another Tesla because he's not going to be able to cycle back to a Golem at a point that would be scary at all. I need to go in for a Knight though, so then the Fly Machine locks onto that and then our tower is able to chip away at it. I guess the tower doesn't want to chip away at it. I'm going to be forced to go for a Tornado. Oh my goodness, my tower and Fly Machine, we have the worst relationship in this world. I'm going to go for a log so the Goblin Gang does not wreck us. We need to just go in for a Poison and a Rocket and we rock away with the win. Yes, guys, I said rock away with the win, not even walk away. I hope that, <laughs> that my humor isn't too cringe for you guys at this point. Ryan, you're embarrassing me. But I'm pretty sure you've been a nerd to it. So we can go in for skeletons, and then we can go in for an ice wizard. We timed that impeccably, and now we win the game, guys. We go in for our poison first, then we go in for our rocket, as we said before, and we win the game. GG, well played, and peace out, Girl Scout. It was a pleasure playing against you and asserting dominance. That start was ridiculously scary with him messing up my tornado with that clone. But we bounced back and we asserted dominance. All right, guys, we got a game here. We're going to sauce out a good luck. And I read his name is Smart Quiz. You know what, dude? I don't know if you're going to be able to deal with this quiz of spamming so many spells at you. It's going to be difficult, my brother. I'm going to go for Ice Lizard to shut down the Lumberjack so it doesn't reach the tree. And the fruits of our labor are going to be handsomely rewarded with a baby dragon in the back. So I can rocket that. Yo, let's go. We're rocketing your baby dragon, getting that out of sight, out of mind. And maybe the knight gives us more chip damage. Okay, so he has Lumberjack and he's got Skarmy. So I'm thinking that's going to be Lava Hound Clone. Oh, it's definitely going to be Lava Hound Clone. But you know what I can do? I can just go for a knight and not care. Your skeleton dragons are sacrificed <laughs> into the greater good of the knight. It feels so good, man. I love when opponents sacrifice units into three elixir cost cards or one elixir cost cards. We net those positive elixir trades and then we just dish it out and throw it back at them. It's going to go golem in the back now. Okay, I see how it is, brother. So if you're going to go golem right now with skeleton dragon, this is a completely different golem deck than we've seen before. Traditionally, we see the one with flying machine. It's a little bit stronger in my opinion, but you know what? You're still running golem clone in my opinion, so I'm going to go in for Tesla. I want to go in for a poison, shut down this night witch spam. And I can also get a Knight right on top of the Night Witch. So if we get a hit off on the Night Witch, wait, why would you clone that? What is, what is going on? I guess you tried to get the immediate Rage. So the reason why he cloned that is because he wanted the Rage of the Lumberjack, even though that he knew that the poison was going to kill everything. So he played really aggressive. That's like an extra elixir to go and use the Rage. I don't know why you would ever do that or why you would think that would work, but, you know, we shut it all down. So that's all that matters. I can go for another Ice Wizard in the back in the same lane where you're probably going to spam. And then we can just go in for... Did he not learn his lesson? What are you doing, dude? That is the second time in a row you gave me that rocket value. That was quite spicy. It was delicious. And we'll eat those nutritious baby dragons every day of the week, my dude. That was absolutely delicious. The great thing against clone decks is since he doesn't have lightning, we can pre-plan a Tesla and not worry. Can maybe just go for a knight in the opposite lane? Probably predict to scar me and go for a log? Are you guys ready for this? He's going to scar me. I'm going to log it. Oh, let's go! I am God! 
<laughs> I was holding my breath. I was like, wait, was I wrong? But I was right. I felt it coming to the air tonight. I could go in for a rock and I could go for a skeletons here. And I can tornado to finish off all the bats before he's able to clone. And then I think we're probably just going to go for another aggressive night. So guys, it's not a spell cycle deck. It's a night cycle deck. That's our win condition here. Actually, I'm going to poison because we're going to be able to kill the night witch and he won't be able to go for a scarry. <laughs> this is so much fun. Have you guys ever played night cycle? It's a new archetype that I just invented. All right. We're just going to go in for a Ice Wizard and then Tornado. Make sure that all this stuff does not wreck it. You know, we don't even have to Tornado. I don't even have to worry about this. We can wait for him to spam us more aggressively. Then we Tornado and then we Knight. And then everything's all right. You know what? I can go in for another Tesla here. Go pull back the Golem so it's not going to go on our tower and get death damage. Go in for another Ice Wizard. This is so much fun. I've never had this much fun in Clash Routes. I'm having fun. It's like I'm playing SimCity, doing my own thing. I've never played Minecraft, but I feel like this is probably what it's like, right? So I'm just going to be able to go in for another Tesla here. You're not going to be able to get the damage that you need. You'll probably get damage that you want, but not damage that you need. And then we'll go in for Poison. We'll go for Skellies here. You're going to go for another clone. You know, I said he was cloning, cloning last time because he wanted to get value. But he's not even having the Rage of the Lumberjack. So maybe he's just supremely aggressive. Maybe he's a really feisty Sir. I can't imagine that anyone would ever do that, but he's one of those guys. He's really out here. So he's going to go in for another goal, and we just go for a Tesla here. <laughs> go and pull everything to the middle. I think we can go in for... Dude, do we go for another Knight on offense? Is that how we want to play? I know it's really risky and probably very stupid, but I want to do it, guys. I want to be aggressive. I want to live life the way I want to be. So I just need to defend this, so then I can make it happen. Make our firmest reality of really rooted in here. Go in for a Knight, and then go in for... I think we... Yeah, you know what? We should try to finish off the game with a Knight at this point, but... I can't. We just have to spell cycle him from full, guys. We got to go in for the tornado, the log, the poison, and the rocket, and dish out everything that we had. We put all the dressings, all of the condiments right on top of that sandwich, and it was delicious. So we got a game here. We're going to sauce out of good luck, and we're chilling with the ice wizard. What's happening, brother? You're going to go for an ice spirit, and you're not chilling. You're going to be pretty hasty here. You're dropping every single card you have at the river. So ice spirit and skeleton barrel. What could you possibly have with this deck? Fast Cycle Minor Poison probably. That's not going to be an easy matchup for us, guys. If we play against Fast Cycle Minor Poison and he gets a lot of early Minor Chip damage, it'll be impossible for us to claw our way back. So the way that I need to play this is I need to understand that and play as defensive as possible against these Miners. No Chip damage is passing through. Not today, sir. You shall not pass! We're going to log that Musketeer so it doesn't get a single hit, as we said before. It is not allowed to defile our sacred shrines. So I'm going to go for Ice Wizard, plow through the bats. I think he might go for a Miner. We're going to have to wait and see. So for that reason, I'm going to go for a Knight to Body Block. No, he's just going to go opposite. So we can activate King Tower here, and that's always fun to do. With the Skeleton Barrel activating King Tower, there's no better feeling, guys. If you don't know that interaction and you're running the Spell Cycle deck, you will not be able to get away with wins. You will lose every game. So I need to go for a Log here on top of the tower. Just get some more damage. And he's got Fast Cycle Miner, man. It's going to be so meme -y. I can get away with an Ice Wizard. I can't poison because the Musketeer, she's a little bit too quick. She's running a marathon away from that poison real fast. And I can't let that happen. We're going to go for the Knight. We missed the Musketeer. No way. So I was trying to just get too fancy there. I was trying to drop my Knight last possible second. He's going to probably Mega Knight. No, he didn't. He's going to go for Bats. We can go for the Poison. We're going to be able to force out more Elixir. His mini pack is not going to reign supreme here. You're going to lose the mini pack of the Ice Wizard, and I won't have to spend any Elixir unless you go for a Miner. In that case, I'll have to go drop Skellies. But still a really good spot for us. In double Elixir, we can start to Rocket Cycle you. I really want him to drop a Musketeer in the back and think that we only have Poison when Poison's out of Cycle. And then we rip out the Rocket. That's one of my favorite things to do, guys. So I'm going to go for another Ice Wizard here. Oh, man. He's just going to give us Poison. I'll take it. I'll take it. You know what, dude? I can't resist his charms. It's not what we want, but it's still a lot of damage and it's a lot of love. So we're going to go in for a knight here, and then we'll go get away with a Tesla. I think we can just tornado everything as soon as the skeleton barrel pops. So then we're going to get more value pulling away the Mega Knight and the skeletons. And that's infinitely better than dropping an Ice Wizard and sporadically dropping a log. He's going to go drop something behind it, right? Oh my gosh. Come on, brother man. I guess I'll poison here, and then I'll get away with the knight. And as long as we keep the Tesla alive, the Mega Knight dies. And then uh, we shut everything down, right? I think I can get away with a log, too. I don't know if I have to do anything else other than that. The Ice Wizard should be able to slow down the Mega Knight so it's not able to jump. And he might think that we're out of cycle with the poison, but little does he know. Little does he know what we have in store for him. 
Yo, he's just gonna continue to spam into me. Why would you do that to yourself? Honestly, buddy. I can poison, finish off the bats, and then go for skeletons on the musketeer. Take absolutely no damage from those skellies and the musky. And you know what? The spell cycle has begun, guys. So it begins. Here we go. You've got a log bait deck, essentially. And we're logging your tower. The utter disrespect that we're showing to this man. It's unfathomable. With any other deck, I'm pretty sure you can't just like log the tower when you've got skeleton barrel. But when you've got tornado Tesla, they can't do anything. Oh my god, so let's just go and tornado everything back into the poison and say you can't leave and see what he wants to say about that. In fact, we can go for another cycle of skeletons. As long as he continues to spam us, then he's not going to play through. We're going for the night afterward and then we can log. I think we probably want to log so then the skeleton barrel doesn't pop and destroy our hopes, dreams, and aspirations of winning the game. And now, he's below 1000 HP. You know what time it is today, baby. Rocket cycle. It is what it is. So we're in a rocket, we're in a poison, we're in a rocket again, we win the game. So here we go. We go for skellies here on top, unite here, make sure that all of your spam goes into that, and uh, yeah, GG. Well played, and peace out, brother. So two rockets and a poison, and we can take out anything from 1,000 HP, and I just don't think that's very fair. Let me know, guys. Is there any other deck in the existence of the game that can take out a tower that quickly? I don't think so.